Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Project Playtime character concept series. So in today's video, we'll be showcasing multiple different skins for the character of Bronn. Although we haven't seen an evil toy version of Bronn make an appearance in Poppy Playtime yet, he is still a very prominent character throughout the chapters. And as of yet, it's not known if Bronn will ever be featured in a chapter or Project Playtime. But I thought it would still be fun to make a bunch of custom skins. So I'll go through all of Bronn's skins and talk a little bit about them as well. But as always, I will just state that this character isn't confirmed to be in Project Playtime. This is just a character concept and a whole bunch of fun designs that we get to show off. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GamerDube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Also, be sure to comment down below all your skin ideas for Bronn. And also let us know if you'd like to see any other custom skins for any of the other characters as well. Alrighty, well let's get into the skins for Bronn. So let's start off with the coloured variations. First up is Sky Blue. So for Bronn's blue colour scheme, I decided to go with a much lighter sky blue colour. I think that the bright blue has contrasted well with his yellow toes. Also, the colour of Bronn's underbelly and jaw is brighter as it is with all the other colour variations. Next up is Teal. Instead of going with a typical green colour, I thought it would be a little bit more interesting to go with a teal colour with orange toes and orange spots. For the next colour we have, Purple. Once again, Bronze underbelly and jaw are a brighter tan colour, and his toes and spots are teal coloured just like the last skin. Just like the sky blue colour, I went for a lighter shade of purple. I personally like the brighter colour rather than the much deeper purple. Next up is Orange, and once again, Bronze colour scheme is much brighter in colour. And like the last skin, the toe and spot colour is actually the colour of the previous skin. And for the last colour, we have Friendly Dinosaur. This skin is based off the Friendly Dinosaur that we all know and love, Barney. This skin would have all of Barney's signature colours, including his purple skin, green underbelly, and bright yellow toes. I think that this skin would be an awesome little nod to everyone's favourite childhood dinosaur. Alrighty, so before we move on to the special skins, let me tell you all about today's sponsor. Well, the new year is here, and there's no better time to learn a new skill than with Skillshare. And the good people at Skillshare would like to give our viewers one free month of Skillshare by using the link in our description or pinned comment. With 2023 just starting, there's plenty of time to learn a new skill for your profession or hobby. With thousands of courses at your disposal covering almost nearly every industry, there's bound to be something new you can learn. For instance, one thing in particular that I wanted to improve is my human characters in our character concept series. So far they've been silhouetted characters, and I'd love to give them more personality and detail. So I took the course labelled Create Simple Flat Vector Characters by Jonathan Lamb. In this course I learned the basics of creating a human character and how to properly proportion their body and facial features. The course was much more in depth than I expected, but was also presented in an easy and digestible way with multiple simple steps. So whatever different skill it is you'd like to learn, you'll definitely find it here on Skillshare. Once again use the unique link in our description and pinned comment to get this awesome offer for one month free at Skillshare. Alrighty now back to the video. Okay, for the first special skin we have, Robot. This would be the robotic version of Bronn. Just like all of his other toy friends, they too have their own robotic skins. So I thought it would be fitting to give Bronn a robotic skin as well. His body would be held together with numerous screws and his eyes would also be red lenses. His jaw would be a little bit different and more rectangular rather than round. Next up is Realistic. This skin would depict Bronn as a realistic Brontosaurus. The only key difference with this skin would be his realistic looking head. The rest of his body would remain the same, but he would be given a natural green looking coloured dinosaur skin. I think that this skin would be a fun addition to the collection, and it's interesting to see the actual dinosaur Bronn was modelled after. For the next skin, we have Spikes. For this skin, it would have Bronn with multiple sharp pointy spikes poking out of his body. He would have a purple colour scheme, and would also be sporting a set of razor sharp teeth. His tail would also have a number of spikes that would be reminiscent of one of our other toy characters, Steggy. For the next skin, we have Zombie. 
This skin is definitely one of the creepier looking skins out of the bunch. It would show Bron in a sickly blue colour scheme with multiple bites that have been taken out of him. His face would be half skull, showing how undead he really is. Another factor of Bron's undead look would be the worms that are squirming out of his body. I thought that this would be a neat little touch and kind of gross as well. And for the last skin, we have Skeleton. It goes without saying that you can't have a dinosaur character and not show their skeleton. This skin would simply be Bronze Skeleton and would look as if he was on display at a museum. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video. We hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, do be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of all the skins, which one was your favourite, and what you'd like to see in the future. Alrighty, so after I sign this video out, I'll leave you with a non-narrated showcase of all the skins. And until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.